Hi there, my name is Will and today I'm going to walk you through flowable tasks inside of Kestra. Flowable tasks are the conditional logic that helps you decide what's going to happen inside of your workflow. This is the orchestration logic to your workflow. Now this could be as simple as an if statement like I'm using here to help me decide whether I should run one task or another, but it could be extended to things like for loops, parallel tasks, and so on. In this example here, I am making an API request and I want to check what the response body contains to decide whether I should run this task or if I should run the other one. If I execute this, we can see this in action. And we can see here, looking at the topology view, the if statement was successful, so it ran the true section. And these conditions can be decided using expressions similar to what we used in inputs and outputs in the previous episodes. In this workflow, we are using a for each task and a for each task allows you to be able to loop through an array of objects. For example, here I have three strings and I want to be able to pass each of those strings one at a time to the tasks inside of our block. So this means that we're gonna make three API requests, each one with a different value. So if you've got a bunch of data such as an array and you want to process through all of it, the for each task is a great way to do that. When I execute this, we'll see it's going to run three separate tasks and we can see exactly what those tasks are. If I go to the outputs tab, we can see we got different outputs for the different requests made. We are using a for each block like we used in the previous example, but we have the concurrency limit here set to zero, which means it's going to run this loop in parallel rather than only running one task at a time. When we press execute, we'll see this in action very clearly from the Gantt chart where it's going to, once it starts that for each loop, it's going to run multiple tasks at the same time. As we can see here, it is running all of those tasks in parallel with each other because the concurrency limit was set to zero. But you can control if you only want three to run at a time with that value. This gives you loads of flexibility in how you want your workflows to run rather than just running them sequentially. And we can see from the topology view that they're all running in parallel to one another, giving you full flexibility on how your flow orchestrates. Hopefully you found that useful. In the next episode, we're gonna look at how you can manage error handling inside of your workflows.